actually. This is a decent size. Yeah, I want to see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that. Everybody used to show me love. Where it go at? I was born to shine. I speak my mind and get that glow. <laughs> Like, I feel like if you say this at rock, I gotta get it together. I gotta get it together. Like, it's seven o'clock at night and I have not eaten anything today yet. And that's not cool. Like, it is not okay. So, I am, oh, my over here. I'm about to go to the grocery store and get some groceries. Cause we hungry. Look at Nala Pooh Bear. Look at my baby. <laughs> y'all, look at, can y'all see her? Ain't she just the cutest thing in the mother freaking world? You just the cutest thing in the mother freaking world. I don't know if she really liked this, but it's either this or be in the house, and I think she'd rather much be with me. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. When I say I am tired, Baby, I am tired. I, you know, I was trying to get the cute aesthetics when I went to the grocery store, but y'all, <laughs> I gave up. I said, I'm tired, and I got this is just too much going on. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired too. So I left out. It was what seven? It's now eight fifty-seven. It's like damn near nine o'clock. So that means me and all have been in the grocery store for at least an hour and a half. I don't know why it took me so long to go grocery shopping. I just, I don't know, but I got a lot of shit. And groceries is just mad expensive. Uh, why is it so expensive? I don't understand why groceries gotta be so damn expensive. I don't understand why peppers gotta be $3. Why is peppers $3? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why is grapes $10? Why is grapes $10? That's how much a pack of chicken costs. Why is grapes $10? Huh? Get somebody else to do it. I don't understand. Get somebody else to do it. Why do I spend so much money on food to eat? I gotta eat to live and then the food and then it's just no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I'm trolling right now. I mean, it is what it is. A girl's got to eat. But Nala did good today. Look at my baby. <laughs> Look at my baby. She did so good. Everybody loves her. When we be going out, people be like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. And she's so good. My baby's so good. I know she's like over. You ready to get out? <laughs> <laughs> you ready to get out, mamas? Miss Mamas, you ready to get out? She like, get me out this thing, please. I think she be chilling, cause she be so excited to get in it. Whenever I pull it out, she be the jumping all around and stuff. You okay, mamas? You wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi to our kindreds? I love my mamas. She's so special, y'all. She's so special. I feel like she was literally created and birthed just for me. She really was. She's like, Look at all these groceries. Yes, 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 it's given. It's giving, it's giving yummy to my tummy. So we're gonna do a nice little Trader Joe's haul. Here we go. Had to get my spinach. I got two bags of spinach because I like to put spinach in my smoothies too. 
So spinach as like a side, spinach in my smoothies, uh, spinach in my salad, you know what I'm saying? I got Nalapusa doggy treats, I love. Okay, so I don't like to give her like fishy stuff because it be making her breast stink. Don't like that. But they didn't have the chicken that I normally get in this bag. So I got her some salmon jerky. But the chicken jerky, oh my gosh, she loves it. So I'm hoping she liked the salmon too, because they ain't had none. But they did have these uh, chicken breast strips that she might like, I don't know. But I got both, just in case, but I ain't know. I ain't know, let's see if she liked this salmon thing. Hopefully you don't. Y'all hear her jumping all around. She is so excited right now. Like, girl, you don't even know what I'm about to give you. You don't even know what I'm about to give you, girl. Look at her. Crazy tail. Look at her. Hold on. Y'all can't even see it. Look at mamas. Hi, was mamas. You just so excited, ain't you? Girl, why are you so excited? Let me... This shit just stink. She don't need that big old thing. I didn't mean to give you the big old thing. You don't need all of it. Give me a piece. You just take half of it. There you go. What's it give you? Let's see if she take it. No, y'all. <laughs> we gonna have to just we gonna have to just wait and see if she gonna if she don't like it because I don't know if she likes it. It is stank. She eating it. Okay. I ain't waste my money. I like it. I ain't waste my money's I like that. I ain't waste my money's I like that. I don't like this. Is this good? I feel like it's too hot, but okay. And then I had to get me a rack of lambs, you know what I'm saying? I like these. I got this uh, mushroom truffle flatbread. I get this all the time. Every time I go to the grocery store, I get this flatbread, it's so good. And I just add mozzarella cheese up there and I'll be seasoning it myself. I got some blueberries, cause I like to put blueberries in my smoothies. I got strawberry because I absolutely love to put strawberries in my smoothie and my Greek yogurt. One bag down, six more to go. Literally six more to go. Ugh, I had to get me a vegan buffalo cheese dip. Um, not cheese dip, my vegan buffalo style dip. So good. And then I got these salsa verde chips that um, I like to dip it in the salsa verde <laughs> and the vegan buffalo dip. So this is like my little go-to snack combination. It's so good. I had to get my Mexican style cheese because we gonna have some tacos later on this week. Um, but I'm gonna make my tacos with um, lettuce instead. Why am I blurry? But I'm gonna make my tacos with, um, with lettuce instead. I found this hot cocoa inspired cream cheese spread. I'm like, ooh, this might be good. Um, yeah, this might be good for one of my, for my bagels. And I got me some pepper on the cured turkey, bacon, this is the breakfast. I got my mozzarella cheese log. And then I got some provolone cheese. I'm trying to figure out, why did I get this provolone cheese? Because I didn't even get the bread. Damn, I didn't even get the bread. What was the point of me getting cheese? Cause I like to make sandwiches, like tuna sandwiches, but I didn't even get the bread. Idiot. And then I got feta cheese for my salad. I love me some feta cheese. I definitely did not need this provolone cheese. I'm so annoyed about that because I could have gotten me some Parmesan cheese instead for like my salad. Then I got some oats and seed non-dairy beverage. I've never, ever, 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 ever tried this before. But I figured maybe I can try it for my smoothie. Let me 
that's not bad. Okay. Oats, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds. That's not bad at all. That like, this, I think, mmm, this might actually taste really good in my smoothies. Okay, cool. Lady. You like that. Moving on up to the east side. Finally got a piece of the pie. Got some eggs, because I love me a whole egg, okay? And I got these beef patties. This is like when you don't feel like cooking, which might be tonight. I don't feel like cooking. So I might pop me in a beef patty, okay? Because I'm it's late and I'm tired. Baby, I'm tired. So I don't even like like chicken like that, but that meal that I made in the last vlog with the rice, that was so good. So I bought me some more chicken so I could do that. That was something new, you know what I'm saying? So that was something new for me to do. Might do that again. I got some salmon, I love salmon. I got some ground turkey. Turkey for my spaghetti. Spaghetti and tacos. I got some tuna. I love me some tuna. I put tuna in my salads and I also make me some sandwiches, but I didn't buy the bread. I'm so annoyed about that. But yeah, I got some tuna. That's like another easy, quick thing to do. I got some spaghetti for my spaghetti. Y'all, I'm so tired. I got some agua, meat water, ginger beer. Love me some ginger beer, definitely. One of my top favorite beverages next to cream soda. I love cream soda. And then apple juice. <laughs> Who drank all my apple juice? I love apple juice. <laughs> and then some three cheese tomato sauce. That's that. I got to re up on my peanut butter. I like to put peanut butter in my smoothies as well. And I also like to eat them with apples. I got some peppers, you know what I'm saying? Red pepper, orange peppers. I got bananas. I love bananas in my smoothies. Look, I got a lot of stuff in my smoothies. <laughs> and then I got some mushroom. I typically don't cook with mushrooms, but I wanted to try them. So I bought some mushrooms. And then I got some tomatoes, typically mainly for my salads. I got some potatoes, cause I'm gonna eat some potatoes. I'm gonna have me a pasta at home. I'm gonna have some uh, rack of lambs. And then some potatoes and some rice and some asparagus. Got some asparagus. I'm just do spinach, I don't know. I got me onions. I be like eating the crap out of onions, okay? So I be eating the whole bag of onions. And then I got spring mix for my salad, for my bagels. Oh, I love these uh, cinnamon bagels. So, oh, they smell so good. Yeah, I love these cinnamon bagels. I like to either eat it with cream cheese or um, avocado, but I didn't buy any avocado. And then my egg and my turkey bacon and make a sandwich, you know what I'm saying, so good. And then I had to get some lemons for my tea and stuff. They had this taco seasoning mix, so I got that. I had to re-up on some oats because I think I ran out of oats. And olive oil. Get some extra, 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 extra virgin olive oil. I always do the most when I go grocery shopping, I be feeling like, but I really be using all of this stuff. Like this is everything that I be needing. I cleaned out my refrigerator cause I need to like clean it. So I'm about to spray it down and clean it. And I'm gonna restock it with everything that we got from the grocery store today. I literally got a lot of stuff from the grocery store. Your girl is ready to cook, okay? Please don't judge me. It is currently 11.56 at night. Y'all already know that like my sleeping schedule is a little, a little bit off, and I'm trying to get it together. Like, 
always say this like countless of times your girl gotta get it together but i'm hungry i didn't eat all day and i'm gonna eat tonight okay okay i mean i could have i could just call it a fast see when days like this happen i'll be like well i just fasted that day but i could technically stop but i'm in the mood to record so i'm trying to like take advantage of that momentum while i have it and um Get some content in so yes i'm about to record i had did a poll on instagram where i asked you guys if i should do um a rack of lamb or if i should do stuffed salmon and majority of people said stuffed salmon i was like i wasn't expecting that because i was kind of in the mood for the lamb so i, sh I shouldn't ask because i already kind of knew that i wanted but the crew said stuffed salmon so that's what we're about to do mind you i've never made stuffed salmon before now, I've made some stuffed chicken before, kind of, sort of, but I've never made stuffed salmon before. So, I'm about to just wing it. You know, y'all know I went to the grocery store earlier this week, and I'm just going to use whatever I got in the refrigerator. So, we just literally about to wing it. So, yeah, work with me, okay? Oh, I'm so glad that I'm short. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm short, so I was able to tilt the camera a little bit so y'all can actually see what I'm working with because I don't have time to be trying to, like, get the aesthetics and move the camera every other way. I don't want to do all that tonight. So this is going to be exciting. I'm going to in between try to get like some clips on my phone so I can do a cute little reels. But for the most part, this is going to be exclusive footage for my Kendra. So if people want to see what I made, actually, yeah. If people want to see what I made, no, I'm still get some clips on my phone. But if people really want to see what I made, because I'm going to post a picture on it. I'm going to post a picture on Instagram. Then they will have to come to the channel and join the Kendra family. Subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Because what? Because what? Yeah. Hmm. But anyway, so we're going to be doing stuff salmon. So we have some uh, fresh Atlantic salmon boneless filet. Um, I know that you're... I know that it's better to have like wild caught salmon. But... Your girl was on a budget when she went to the grocery store, so this was only ten dollars. So yeah, and then I pulled out the tomatoes. I don't know why, but I pulled out the tomatoes. I'm gonna figure out why. I got some asparagus right here. That's gonna be on our side. I got some red peppers. I have lemon. I have mozzarella cheese because y'all know that I had got provolone cheese. And I should have gotten like Parmesan cheese or Asiago or something like that. But I I messed up with that. So the only cheese, the only white cheese that I have left is the mozzarella cheese that I could technically use. And um, spinach. And earlier in the vlog, I told you guys that I don't typically cook with mushrooms. So we're going to cook with some mushrooms today. Okay. So I'm going to mince all of this stuff for the most part. And I, I think I'm going to, yeah, mince all of this stuff for the most part. And that's going to be like our mix for our stuff. Salmon, cause I don't have any sour cream. Sour cream would have been great. Um, not sour cream, cream cheese. Well, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave it to myself. So first things first, I'm gonna prep our pans. So I'm gonna be using my pans from Caraway. I think my camera's a little crooked. Hold on. Hopefully. I think that's a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my pans from Caraway. I'll also leave that information linked down below in the description box because these pans are the bomb.com, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and like prep my pans and preheat my oven because I like to put my asparagus in the oven. I'm gonna preheat my oven on 375. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there and I'm going to put it on a medium, medium high. So I got this extra virgin olive oil from Trader Joe's. Literally everything's from Trader Joe's. Everything that I showed y'all early in the vlog, that's what we're going to use for the most part. So I'm just going to pour some of that up in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. Now, I need to invest, well, y'all know I don't do this often. So if this goes well, if you guys like it, then I'll start like investing in, you know, better stuff so we can have better quality content regarding cooking. But as of right now, I'm gonna use what I got to get what I want. Okay. So these knives um, are from Ikea, so don't, don't judge me. But yeah, and then I have my bowl that I'm gonna use for, <coughs> to season my salmon. So 
So let's go over to the sink so we can clean this off and get to work. See, I like to cook with music. So this is going to be, in my head, I'm going to be playing music. In my head, I'm literally saying, do, 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 do. So I'm definitely going to be saving this because we're going to be using this later. But yeah, we got our salmon, right? So I'm going to season that later. But first, I'm going to cut up all my veggies and stuff. I'm so excited. I know um, Chef Thomas is going to be so salty when he sees this. I know. I need to call him because he's been like hitting me up here and there like, hey, like when do you want to do you know another video and I have like just not wanting to, wanted to, to be I don't know like I just I just had to get out of my funk y'all I just had to get out of my funk we rest my funk but yeah I love making content with him like he is so fun I love his personality he is so genuine and down to earth like he is the bomb.com he also has a YouTube channel so I will leave that linked down below as well I'll put it right here so y'all can um, see it and subscribe to his channel and also follow him on Instagram because he be giving out recipes okay he be giving out all the recipes so yeah I'm gonna take these this red pepper I don't know why I did this oh you know what would have been great me doing a Q&A while I cook that's a great idea Ooh, the next time I do this, I'm gonna post. Like, Y'all need to give, like, let's do a Q and A. Like, we're gonna do a Q and A. That'd be so fun. I definitely need um, better knives. Cause, yeah, I know that there is probably someone who went to school for um, culinary arts or <laughs> is a chef or just <laughs> know how to cook is about to judge the crap out of me for how I'm cutting this stuff. I should probably keep this open because I knew I wasn't going to need all of that. It's just me. I wish I had a man that I could cook for though. I wish I had a man that I could cook for. I mean, I could find any guy and just cook for him and stuff, but I don't want to do that. I just pretend like he my future husband until I meet my future husband, but then I feel like that would be like a waste of time. I think God wants me. I need to be anyways. God wants me to be alone right now. I need to get comfortable with, I need to get completely comfortable with like being by myself. Cause like I'm comfortable being by myself. Like I'm that friend, especially like nowadays. Oh my God, I'm that friend that if you call me, depending on how I feel, depending on my mental state, literally depending on my mental state. Um, I might not, I might not answer. I might not answer and I might have to just call you back. So I might not answer on the first ring, cause I don't know. Like a lot of times when people call me, I don't know if it be like the, you know how we have like two sides. We got like the angel on one side of our shoulder and the devil on the other side of our shoulder. Or maybe the optimistic side of our shoulder and the pessimist side of our shoulder, our shoulder or whatever. But somebody in my head be telling me a lot of times, don't answer the phone. Don't answer the phone. Don't 
don't don't answer the phone. And whenever I or I be hearing answer the phone, answer the phone. So, but whenever I hear that don't answer the phone, I'm telling you I don't answer the phone because I I've learned my lesson. I used to always it sounds so crazy. I don't know if it's crazy, but I used to always something about my phone. Like I don't know what it is about my phone, but my phone gives me like my phone gives me anxiety. Okay, my phone really does give me anxiety. Like that's why a lot of times I keep my phone on do not disturb, focus mode, work mode, or silent, or or something like that. Because when my phone rings and all of that stuff, mm -mm, I don't, mm -mm. it makes me anxious. You know, I don't, mm -mm, I don't like it. So, but like I was saying, what I was saying was. People would like call my phone, and like I said, I would either hear a answer the phone, not Jay, or I would hear a don't answer the phone. And there's been a lot of times where I'll hear the don't answer the phone, and I still answer the phone, and I regret answering the phone. Be even if it's not in that moment, I regret answering the phone. It would be something, it would be like events that would transpire shortly after that's connected to that phone call. And I'm like, and that, and, and that will always happen to me because I would never listen. And when I when I don't listen, I always end up like having a lesson being taught. I'm not gonna say I regret it. I wouldn't say regret or regret them, but there was always a lesson behind me not listening to my nose slash creating boundaries. Ooh, child, I almost forgot my onions. You can't cook without no onions, okay? So, yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but yeah, I'm that friend that, you know, don't take it personal if I don't see a phone call and you know I'm just at home by myself with all of I'm gonna call you back, or if it's important, you know, which half the time is not, but if it's important, text me and say, hey, I, I need to talk to you. And then, of course, I'll call you back. But yeah, um, that's me these days. Cause I've been trying to avoid now, now that I'm getting older, I'm trying to avoid anything and everything that that in, enhances, entices my um, anxiety and things of that nature. Cause baby, this, this, this is a journey to growth and, and being, this is a continuous journey of growth and healing and all of this stuff and anything that compromises that for me. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it. But um, yeah, so I'm taking my onions. I love onions, so I might use this whole damn thing. No, I'm not gonna use that thing. I'm just gonna use like half of it. But it just smells so, oh, it just smells so good. I just love the smell of onions. Put it in my face, shove it down my throat. Make it smoke, baby. My friends, <laughs> I irritate my friends so much. I don't know why. I have these crazy outbursts. Literally, I have these crazy outbursts where I'll be on the phone. Like when I be on the phone, me and my friends be on the phone for hours, okay? Like I'm not that friend where we're gonna be on the phone for like 10, 15 minutes and um, that's it. No, me and my friends, we be on the phone for hours. That's probably another reason why I be like, do you, it's, no, I don't answer my hours. But yeah, we be on the phone for hours. We be on the phone for like two, three, four, sometimes five hours. So yeah, so yeah, when I be on the phone with my friends, oh my God, I will randomly, not even on the phone, like even when my friends come over, like, even while I'm here with myself, now my eyes are burning. <laughs> my eyes are burning real bad. I was randomly having these outbursts where I'm like, <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to tell y'all this. There's gonna be a couple thousand of y'all watching this video. <laughs> hey, I swear only my friends know this. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Oh, this is so random. I'll be like, just randomly. It, it, I'll be so shocked with myself because I'll be like, Najee, please, don't do this today. <laughs> I'm so weird, y'all. I'll be like, okay. It'll be random. I'll be doing something just like this, like this. And I'll be like, put it in my face. Shove it down my throat. 
Make it smoke, nigga. I, I don't know. Yeah, I literally do like that. Those are the, the, the phrases that I be using. I be saying, put it in my face, shove it down my throat, make it smoke, nigga, or bitch, or, or something like that. I don't know. I'm just so weird. And now I have my friends saying, like, oh my God. They trying to make it seem like, they be trying to make it seem like, oh, well, I'm not saying it because it's catchy. I'm like, no, you're saying it because it's catchy. And you hear it from me all the time. Don't try to play. They be like, no, I'm just saying it so so you can stop saying it. Stop playing. It's so catchy. I literally just be like walking around the house, like being weird, or even in public sometimes. I be like, put it in my face. Shove it in my throat. Make it smoke, nigga. <laughs> it's like, it's just like Loki T-Rex. Like, it's like giving, it's giving T-Rex. Like, it's definitely giving T-Rex. Okay, so we got our <laughs> peppers and tomatoes. I mean, peppers and onions. My eyes are burning like crazy, but I absolutely love it. I am going to cut up some, just maybe like one or two tomatoes, maybe. I don't know, maybe one tomato. I probably don't need that much. And then I'm going to take my spinach, and I'm also going to chop up my spinach. I wish, oh my God, if this goes great, if this goes well, we can start getting like some, we can start getting some like kitchenware or um, kitchen appliances, you know, sponsored, and we can like really do the darn thing with our like cook with me segments, okay? I'm so here for it. Ooh, I learned this from um, Chef Chef Tyler. I mean, I gotta practice more, but like how to actually cut. I should have did this earlier, but yeah. Then I'm just gonna chop up as much as if this was like a really, really, really good knife slash sharp knife, I would have been cut myself or cut my fingernail off because I'm like literally chopping my nails. It's ridiculous. This looks so, mm, I just love fresh stuff. I wish, I, I'm sorry getting more like fresh parsley and like, you know, garlic, you know, stuff like that, you know, instead of using the actual powdered seasoning. You can really just use the actual veggies and herbs itself. So I'm also gonna take my mozzarella and I'm gonna take about three pieces of mozzarella. I'm literally just eyeballing this. Like y'all, like I said, I've never done this before, so we about to just make it shake. And I'm about to cut this up as well. But I'm not gonna cut it up too small. Maybe I should. No, I'm just gonna cut it into squares like you would make it mac and cheese. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know why. Something just told me to do it, so I'm doing it. But I'm just listening to. I think my ancestors is probably guiding me through the way right now because whenever I cook and I just be winging it, my food never turn out nasty. My food be good. So. I really think that I just got the incense on my side, okay? I've never cooked with mushrooms before. This is gonna be insane. But something's telling me that I could just use the entire thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut up one. I don't think I need that much mushroom. They're so soft, okay? I thought it was gonna be like a little harder for some reason. Or even if you're a beginner content creator or whatever, 
Your best bet is to literally get content out of any and everything. I'm still working on that, but your best bet is to literally get content out of any and everything. Um, so the days literally where you feel like you don't have any content, just look at your phone, find pieces, put it together, create like a, a, a short vlog of just small pieces with a trending music, like anything. I don't know. Just get content out of any and everything that you do if you're a content creator. Because if you're trying to be a full-time content creator, then your life is content, okay? Obviously, you can keep some things to yourself, but... I'm the type of person, my, I want my life to be content, okay? I, I make content of surrounding my life, okay? I don't, I don't make, I don't live my life for content. I live my life and I create content. So just make content out of everything. Even if you don't use it, just that you have it, it's better to have too much than to not have enough. You know what I'm saying? So let me get like a cute little picture. It's a fact. On fat, anything you need. I wonder if I should turn the heat off or the AC because I think I have the AC on right now because it's probably making noise. You can turn this down because I'm obviously taking a long time because I'm like doing the most right now. So let's clean as we go. Cleanliness is next to godliness, godliness, so that way we don't have to worry about this stuff that we don't need because we already used it. Um, yeah. That's another thing. I, <laughs> I want to, I need to get like some nice glass containers and Tupperwares um, so that way I can put like my, so that way I can at least prep for the week. Like cut some of this stuff up or put in containers, glass containers and Tupperwares and veggies and fruits and stuff like that. And I feel like when you do that, I think, right? When you do that, your fruits and veggies last longer, right? Okay, now to season our salmon. I am first going to be using a little bit of garlic powder because I don't have any garlic, like actually garlic clovers or whatever. So I'm going to use a little bit of garlic powder and I'm going to season it front and back. Ooh, I need to get, see this is why I need to even another camera so I can get like two angles going on at the same time, you know? I love y'all, I, I swear, we going we going to the top, baby. We, look, y'all gonna be like, dang, I remember when she was in her kitchen, da 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 Yeah, we're going to the top, baby, okay? I hope I'm not blurry. Yeah, but I'm gonna be going in with some smoked paprika. <laughs> some smoked paprika, and then, I'm also going to be using some chili powder. Look, I like I like my stuff with a kick. I'm also about to put some Cajun up there. Look, don't look. It's look, it's Sammy. I can't put a little bit of little bit of razzle dazzle. I'm gonna put a little bit of razzle dazzle. Look, I'm listening to the ancestors. Okay, they is guiding me today, baby. Okay, and then I'm going to um, get some peppercorn up in there. The little bit. The little bit ain't gonna hurt the back. The little bit ain't gonna hurt the back. And then I'm literally going to use like a dab of this. I just, I just really like this stuff. This is celery salt. I'm telling you guys. It's so good. Huh. Woo! But you literally, I only need a little bit. Just a little sprinkle dinkle, okay? A little sprinkle dinkle. A little dippity dap dap, okay? Let's see. And then, just cause. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't even wanna tell y'all what it is, cause I swear, I just love the smell and the taste of that in everything. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> y'all be like, this girl could rip me in for real. Nah, for real, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, I just, I just pour, I just, I just put a little bit of like jerk, jerk seasoning up there. But y'all gotta do that. Please don't mind me. Okay, so now I'm about to go ahead and move all this stuff over. I need a bigger cutting board. That would be so nice, but I don't have that. Mm. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. That's another thing I've been saying lately. Cause I be like, when I'm saying talk to me, baby, it's more so like me kind of like either hyping myself up or giving myself you know, a little bit of extra boost of confidence. You know, I'm like, talk to me, baby. Like, 
yeah, you did that. Or like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut the salmon in half um, vertically so that way they can be long pieces. And then after I cut it in half, I'm just going to go ahead and somehow make some room on this small ass plate. I'm gonna have to just use a plate. Okay, this is like a serving board, but it's okay. So I'm gonna use that and then I'm going to slice it open in the center of the salmon. You know, open that baby up because that's where we're gonna stuff it at. So, like this. Two wings. But you don't wanna obviously slice it all the way through. You just wanna, you just want her to open up a little. You just want her to open up a little bit. Loosen, loosen her up a little bit. I should probably use half of this for my breakfast tomorrow. Because I'm not going to need all of this. I cut up too much onions and peppers and spinach and stuff. But this will be great for my eggs tomorrow. I can make an omelet tomorrow. Oh my god. Matter of fact, before I get that salmon juice on there, I'm going to put half of this in the Tupperware. Now I'm just going to go ahead and stuff it. Okay? Whatever it is that I got, I'm literally just gonna mix this stuff up. I wish I had some cream cheese, but I don't. It's okay. It's still gonna be a vibe. You know why I think people like cooking stuff? <laughs> Ajay, please get it together. <laughs> Look, the stuff that be coming to my mind, I sometimes I just don't even need to say it out loud. And yeah. So something, something you should literally just do yourself. Got our stuffed salmon. Easy, you just stuff the salmon with the stuff. Okay. I'm just gonna coat the entire thing with the olive oil. Cool. Let me get my lid out. Mind you, the heat is on low right now because it was extremely high at first. But let me make sure that this stuff don't fall out too much. I'm just gonna go ahead and place that in there. Okay. Yes, baby. What? Put me back on the stomach. I'm about to do laundry anyways. So I can just go ahead and wash that. But so we got the salmon in there doing its thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and top that. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and take this tray. I took this baking tray out of the oven. And I'm going to take a few pieces of asparagus. Just enough for tonight and um, leftovers for tomorrow. I literally just broke the ends off. I mean, because I mean, ideally you just want to like cut them off to make it look all cute and stuff, but I just broke the ends off. So now that we have our asparagus, I'm going to go ahead and just coat them with a little bit of olive oil. I'm just gonna literally just rub it in my hands and just and just sexually assault the asparagus by rubbing it down like a nice actually this is a decent sized penis. This is literally a decent sized penis. Oh how heavy baby See, stuff like this, I feel like I should keep in my head. And um, it just be coming out, okay? Just, just coming out. Please. Don't judge me. Look, we all grown here. According to my analytics, it said that my target, not my target audience, but my like viewers are roughly between the ages of 25, mainly 25 and, and like 30 something, and then mainly 25 and up. So that's my um, audience. So we all grown here. And I literally just 
season my lemon pepper. I mean, season my asparagus with lemon pepper. That's it. I do this with my boiled eggs too. My boiled eggs, I only put lemon pepper in there. Cause it's so darn good. Lemon pepper literally on a lot of things is so good. Like frozen pizza. Why do I say frozen pizza? Even regular pizza. Look, pizza that you make from scratch. Uh, just a little bit of lemon pepper. I'm that little zest just does something for me. And then my, my boiled eggs. Um, my asparagus. I don't put it on my broccoli, but I do put it on my asparagus. What else I put lemon pepper on? Um, I can't necessarily think right now of what else I put lemon pepper on, but yeah, this is a vibe. So you just go ahead, spread it out, and I'm just gonna put it in the oven because it's not gonna necessarily take long for the salmon to cook. Um, so I'm gonna put this in the oven and let it do its thing, and that's gonna be dinner for tonight. Let me turn my camera on because y'all know when the camera rolls for a very long time, she want to cut up. So let me go ahead and put this in the oven and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so that serving tray that I had used to stuff the salmon in, I put the serving tray in the oven so that way it could be hot. And I'm going to put it on this right here and that's where I'm going to eat my food and serve my food. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that tray out right now because I'm gonna go ahead and make my little mixed green uh, situation. If I had some arugula, I would just use some arugula, but I don't just have arugula. And then I'm gonna put, y'all know I love some cheese. You definitely probably don't need this much darn cheese in your life, but I do. And I'm just going to take a pinch of the small crumbles and just do that. She's like, hey, give me a lot. Okay. This habanero sauce, I'm just gonna put on the side. I really like my food. Sorry, Steve. Mm. Just nice. You don't want your veggies to be soft, soggy, or burnt, you know. Nice, crispy, you know, little touch to it. Bomb.com. And I love asparagus. I can shoot about 10 of them. And that is our stuffed salmon, okay? It's looking good and ready to eat. So easy. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in there, drizzle a little bit of um, dressing on there, and that's that. That looks so good, y'all. So good. Okay. okay great. So now I'm about to go ahead and do my taste test. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon onto my shrimp, shrimp my salmon, right? Got my agua, you know? and I'm gonna taste it. You know? I'm gonna do a taste without the sauce and then a taste with the sauce. This is just the, the edge of the salmon, so I already know that that's gonna taste good because I mix salmon all the time. Mm. Mm. And with the lemon, that zest is like bomb.com. <clears throat> okay, now I'm about to taste it with this everything else in there. We already know this is gonna be good because why? Why wouldn't it be good? That is juicy. Mmm. Mmm, juicy. Are you gonna put lemon pepper? Are you asparagus? Probably blurry. I'm gonna look blind so I can't tell, but if you don't put asparagus, I swear I might be blurry. But if you don't put lemon pepper on your asparagus, you're missing out. And if you don't eat asparagus, I know a lot of people who don't eat asparagus, they're literally missing out on life. <clears throat> Instead of putting the dressing on my, um, <clears throat> Mixed veggies, I just won't have with that sauce up there. But that's so hot. Mm. Just cause I like, I like to torture myself with the extra hotness. I'm just do a little dab.
I need to get these nails done. I'm gonna get these nails done tomorrow. <clears throat> Show it is. Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Come on.